Welcome to Fitzy's Fabulous Scrapbooks. I'm Michelle Fitzgerald, aka Fitzy, <laughs> and I'm an independent advisor for Creative Memory Scrapbooking, and I'm here to help you make your scrapbooks fabulous. And today is Wishlist Wednesday. Woohoo! <laughs> so, what I like to do on Wishlist Wednesday is highlight um, a product that is fairly new or maybe one that's been out for a little bit, but maybe people have overlooked it. Well, this one is fairly new. This is the Painted Garden Collection and the Floral Peaks um, Border Punch. <laughs> so let me get down to my workspace and we'll check everything out. So the first element of this collection is the variety mat pack. It comes with 24 mats. They are all double-sided. 12 are four and a half by six and a half, which is what you're looking at now on my screen. And just look at all the pretty colors. And you've got things that you can journal on, or you can just use it to mat a photo. Um, they just really work. And you know what I find with these? They actually extend the life of your paper pack because they have a lot of the same prints and definitely the same color schemes that are in the paper pack. So it all coordinates. So it's actually like getting more paper. And some of them have different patterns, but yet they still work with the collection. So it's pretty cool. I love that they do that. So that is the four and a half by six and a half, and you get 12 of those. And then this out of the way, you get 12 four by six mats. And some of them are titles. I just love these. And you get 12 of these as well. But just look how pretty these are. The colors are just so vibrant. Um, it just feels like spring, doesn't it? <laughs> spring is in the air. Look at just, look at these strawberries. They're adorable. <laughs> All right. Um, and so then we have a few titles and words. So bloom wildly, rain or shine. I must have flowers always and always. And that's a quote from Claude Monet. And then we have partly sunny with the chance of fun. So very cute, very usable. And then you flip them over and there's more. But wait, there's more. Oh, this one says spring fever. Little birds are on this one. I mean, they're just so pretty. One fine day. Live simply and bloom wildly. Just beautiful spring fever. I definitely have spring fever right now. I don't know about you. Oh, just so pretty and one fine day. All right, so those are the 12 uh, four by six mats for Painted Garden. So let me, these. Now the next thing we're gonna look at are the embellishments. So the embellishments, going to pick these up carefully. We have two sheets of embellishments. Look at this. So you get your gems. I love all these little gems. So you get purple, red, orange, yellow, and then two different shades of green. So let me just hold those up so you can see them. Pretty gems. They sparkle. Love it. But then you get all of these beautiful embellishments. And look at this. This one I just absolutely love. So this, if you have any pictures from Washington, D.C. in April, you need this. <laughs> 
the cherry blossom trees there are just gorgeous in April, and this is just perfect for that. Um, but you have like a cute little tree stump and some journaling boxes, some words, hello spring. I even have a little caterpillar here. <laughs> and then we have some, oops, these got kind of mixed up. Um, but we have lots of little hummingbirds and some butterflies, strawberries and leaves and sunshine, even a little umbrella. <laughs> All right, uh, little ladybugs, bumblebees, beautiful flowers. Um, just an awesome, awesome embellishment pack. I love this. The colors are just so beautiful and so vibrant. It really makes you want to have spring come now. <laughs> All right, so now we're on to stickers. And again, those vibrant colors are back. Look at that. Look at the little bird's nest here and the, the watering can with flowers. We got the little birds in the nest um, and just pretty flowers, little bees and ladybugs, birds. All right, and then we have titles and words. Um, all things grow with love, sunshiny day, our nest, a little bird told me, meant to be. Oh, I love that with the little bumblebee on it. Like, <laughs> just really cute. So there's um, a lot of things you could do with all of this. Birds and bees and flowers and trees. Um, oh, I just love it. And then we have our border strip stickers and we have the little birdies on a tree branch and then some uh, beautiful leaves and then a nice geomet geometric print as well. So definitely beautiful, beautiful borders. Um, this whole collection, I just love. And if you notice, there's really not any blue in this collection. Um, but I'm not going to be upset about it because I think they did a really great job with it. Now, here is the tone on tone paper pack. So um, just this beautiful purple. And on the back side, we have this watercolor print. Isn't this gorgeous? I just love it. It's like a pinky purple but it's beautiful. And then we have, um, this is like a basket weave print. I'm just gonna hold it up close, see? It's like that little weave look to it. And then on the reverse side, we have, they look like little plus signs. <laughs> Actually kind of like little decorative squares too. Now we have that basket weave print in green. And we're back to our little green decorative squares or plus signs, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and then we have a darker green in the basket weave. And on the reverse side is the yellow plus sign. I'm just going to call it a plus sign. <laughs> but really pretty. And um, these just, I don't know, these colors just um pop out and I don't know it just says spring to me all over doesn't it this is like a beautiful um corally orangey tone and then look at this backside it's just gorgeous I love these watercolor prints they're just so pretty all right and then we have like a geometric um kind of pattern and this is actually a very light green and then the pattern is a little darker green too and then look at that these papers are beautiful and this is the tonal tone on tone paper and there is what looks to me like this could be a little bit of blue just kidding okay i'm moving on <laughs> all right so that's the tone on tone and now i'm gonna go to the designer paper pack and the prints in here are just 
I don't know. When I think of spring, this is what I think of. I think of this paper pack. <laughs> so these beautiful floral prints, and there's a lot of different ones in this pack. It's really cool. Look at the back side of this. It's got all that different tonal color to it. Just beautiful. And then this looks like little sunshines to me. And then I love on the other side, look at these pretty stripes. Just love it. And then on the next paper, I believe these are just little birdies. I think they're little hummingbirds actually. See that? I'm pretty sure those are hummingbirds. I love hummingbirds. And then here we have a little, um, what looks like grass or a little floral type thing, right? And then on the reverse side, oh, that was the reverse side of the hummingbird, sorry. And then, oh, this looks like little mini cherry blossoms. <laughs> They're little trees. These are so cute. And then on the reverse side, it almost looks like a dandelion after you've like blown on it and it's all flown away. <laughs> Remember doing that as a kid? How fun was that, right? <laughs> so that's that sheet. And then this to me looks like a tree stump in green. It's got that tree stump feel to it. Oh, and then look at this back side. This floral print is beautiful. And they have a mix of colors in here. Oh, it's so pretty. Yet it's very dainty. Like it's it's not, it's an all over pattern, but it's not like, I don't know. It's not in your face, which is really nice. It's just beautiful. And then that same pattern, but in this color. Oh, this is beautiful. I love that. Oh, and Wait till you see this. This is the statement piece for the pack coming up. Are you ready? Here we go. Wow. Is that beautiful? Look at the little bumblebees and just a beautiful flower print. That is gorgeous. So much fun with this collection. I need to start using it. <laughs> oh, so let me show you the punch. So this actually comes with the um, collection. So this is called Floral Peaks. I have not used it yet. So I'm gonna grab a tone piece and see how it looks. So let's try this piece here. All right. So if you've never used our punches before, there's a black line here and there's a black line over here. You can line your paper up to either black line, doesn't matter which one. And you just want, um, once you get that first cut, you're good to go. And as you cut, you're gonna bring your paper out onto one of these side trays, depending on which line. And you're going to cover that pattern exactly with what you've just cut. And then you make your next punch. All right. So it might make more sense when I show you. So I'm lining up to the left line. I'm punching and now I'm going to pull my paper through to the left. And now it's perfectly covering this little pattern here. And actually, I've got this little triangle piece here. Now, not all punches do this, but I'm going to hold this up just so you can see it. See that little triangle? You know what? Let me get a piece of paper. I think that would make, it'll make it a lot easier for you to see. And let me get, all right. I can't see, oh, here we go. See this little triangle right here? Here we go. Focus on that. Now, if you notice on the tray, oops, look get in here. There's a little triangle there too, all right? So when you have that little triangle come out 
and it goes onto your tray. So I'm gonna line it up. I know now once that tri once my purple triangle is on the blue triangle on the tray, it's time for me to punch. And now I'm gonna watch for the next triangle. And when it's there, I'm gonna punch again. So if you just look for those little triangles, now they do that on the punches that have a pattern um, that repeats itself. So any pattern, any punch that has that repeating pattern, you'll see that little triangle. And it is really helpful. And I can actually punch one more time because I have one more little triangle here. So let's see if I can get this back in. All right. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't have a big piece of white paper handy, but you'll get the idea looking at it. Isn't that pretty? What a cool punch. Oh, there's going to be fun had with this pack. <laughs> and let's see what it looks like on the other side. Oh, that is gorgeous. All right. So that is the Painted Garden Collection. I'm going to just come back up real quick. Oops. Let me get. There we go. <laughs> All right. Um, so that's it for Wishlist Wednesday. And if you like Painted Garden or the Floral Peaks Punch, go get it. It's so cool. <laughs> I hope you enjoy creating with that collection. And <clears throat> let me know your thoughts. Have a great night and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.